Welcome to Elector Online. Our next example is kind of interesting. Both the numerator and the denominator look very different. So what do we do with it? Well, we're trying to factor the numerator. We'll try to factor the denominator to see if we can have some common terms or common factors we can eliminate or reduce. Okay, let's see what we can do with the numerator. We think we should write that as the product of two binomials. And in the denominator, we can perhaps factor out something that's common, but we'll get to that. So in the numerator, to get x to the 2n, we're going to need x to the n and x to the n, because when I multiply these two together, I get x to the 2n. In the back here, we have 2y to the 2n, and then if I look at the signs, I have a negative here and a positive there, which means that I need two negative signs. And therefore, to get what's in the back there, the third term, I need a 2y to the n and a y to the n. Because when I multiply these together, I get a positive 2y to the 2n, because when I multiply y to the n times y to the n, I need to add exponents. n plus n is 2n, so that becomes plus 2y to the 2n. Now I just need to make sure I get the middle term. x to the n times a negative y to the n is negative x to the n y to the n. And if I multiply this times this, I get negative 2x to the n y to the n together is a negative 3 x to the n, y to the n, so I get the proper middle term. In the denominator, I need to factor out a common factor, which would be x to the n. Let's do that. If I factor out an x to the n, I will be left with an x to the n, because if I multiply these two together, I get x to the 2n, and here I get y to the n. Now, is there anything that's common? The answer is yes. I have an x to the n minus y to the n. Same over here. That cancels out. This becomes 1 and 1. So I'm left with a numerator that is x to the n minus 2y to the n. In the denominator, I have an x to the n. Now, what I could do is I could divide this into the numerator. And so this could also be written as x to the n divided by x to the n minus 2y to the n divided by x to the n. And then I could write this as 1 minus 2y to the n divided by x to the n, if I want to. So either way, this or this is a good final form or reduced form of my original problem. And that is how it's done.